heavy. Bored. And and Glick talks about this too, where he's like he's talking about like um you know, gay sex or like home like homosexual, like gay men, but like it, it does achieve the universal too. Like it goes beyond just that. Where he yes. just goes and it is like would you say this is masculine, like this book? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, I, it does have a lot of, like, that kind of undercurrent of, like, violence. It doesn't feel like a, it doesn't feel particularly straight to me. Like, I think that you, like, you know, that homoerotic thing is, like, very prominent in the collection. But I completely agree with you that, like, I, as a heterosexual woman, still find a lot to relate to in these poems. Like, it doesn't feel like this is, like, oh, me just, like, you know, voyeuristically observing gay men, you right, know, right, yeah. like, no, I relate to a lot of this. So I'm thinking of this now, now that you brought that up is emo masculine. Would it's we say it leans more because it's, it's also weird because it's like about wearing girl jeans and like makeup and like spending an hour on your hair and like, mm -hmm. you know, but emo also has the undercurrent of violence. I feel like it also has this kind of undercurrent of like pent up masculinity, even if the performance of it isn't explicitly masculine, even if the performance of it might even come across as feminine, it still feels like there's this like masculine anger that comes through a lot in it. And maybe that comes through in here too. I haven't thought about that a lot. That's my off the cuff take. Yeah. But. I mean, I just literally, I just thought about this now as you mentioned it. Yeah. Like uh, it's, that's an interesting, yeah it is suppressed masculinity or like a, like a, Oh wow. That's emerged. Maybe that's it's, it's making me, I, I want to go off like a huge tangent. Now I'm trying not to, in terms of like, uh, <laughs> like the emo culture itself and the time period that it happened in, like it couldn't have happened in any other time than those first couple, you know, early two thousands coming out of kind of the punk scene, uh, and like the pop rock scene and indie rock all blurring together for this thing. It was, that's interesting. Listeners, write in about that if you're uh, if you have thoughts on well, that. It's like, it's like making masculinity more palatable in like the upfront way, like on the surface, but then under it, there is still this kind of like pulsating like anger and resentment and violence and self hatred. You know, like the violence turned inward on oneself. I think all of this is like related i don't have like a thesis on it but i do i see it in this collection and i see it in in that music as well yeah it's interesting very interesting but before we got on Inner. resources american resources being bored you know, some activities are not intentional right it shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life forward i I aspire to boredom, heavy. I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. Has your night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.